Well, today we are at uh, IFEX and we are going to document Paranjit Singh. Let's have a talk with Professor Paranjit Singh. I am really lucky that I can talk to him today. So can I come in? Yes, come in. I'd like to start with uh, your experience as a teacher. Because uh, if I remember, you were uh, with College of Art as a professor, then you retired as a principal. So what was your experience as a teacher? As a teacher uh, in College of Art, it was just a chance that after passing my uh, uh, college from the College of Art, Okay. I started working in an uh, advertising agency. So which year uh, you passed off from College of Art? 66, 1966. Okay. So after that, uh, when I saw the advertisement of the College of Art has come, okay. so I, I thought that I, I must apply also. At that time, I had no experience. Okay. Time. So uh, it is just, uh, you can for, say fortunate that uh, one after another, the things started happening in favor and I got the interview call and I got the, the job of the teacher. Okay. Now, uh, as a teacher, I have given full time to the college uh, and uh, uh, for the uh, teaching, for the communication with students, I prepared myself uh, very well b before taking any class. So I had no problem. I discussed problems with students. We came to interaction with the students. We came to know many things with the, from the students as well. And I took uh, uh, the full opportunity to interact and get uh, more and more knowledge uh, from the students as well as from the library of the college. I spent a lot of time uh, in okay. the library of the college. Okay. So that uh, gave me a good opportunity to know the uh, details of the teaching as well as the information about the my total designing of the that time, contemporary okay. designing of that time in the world, all over the world. So I had no problem and I it took very easily, very casually and gave full information to students, whatever was necessary to be a good designer. Uh, so which department you were taking care of uh, with the college, applied or painting? I was in applied art, uh, teaching applied art. Okay. Because I did my diploma in applied art in College of Art. And, uh, but uh, this uh, painting I never stopped, the reason was that before joining the college as a student, okay. I was already learning art, drawing and painting and uh, landscapes as well as uh, uh, still life and study portraits and all these things from a, a very learned uh, teacher from Government College of Art Calcutta at that time. Okay. So he gave me the, all the basics of the teaching, uh, basic of the uh, art in, in academic form. Right. So. I had uh, good uh, sound information and knowledge of the academic and practice and uh, my uh, drawing as well as the study and landscape and watercolor was completely I think up to date at that time. So you're basically practicing your art, your painting form and also you're teaching uh, in the applied department. Yes, yeah, so I, both, I was both doing both. I was, because it gave me the chance that uh, after joining College of Art, right. uh, so I thought that I must have my own uh, expression also so I had to decide about that what to do right so be besides this watercolor and some paintings uh, and oil I started exploring with the help of my teacher Jagmohan Chopra that uh, uh, how to do and what to do about my own work right the, uh, then he suggested that you start with silk screen right at that time in 66 60s uh, hardly anybody was doing silk screen in the fine arts so print making was, was your, like it was your forte, like it was your choice? Or? Yeah, it was my choice only. It came that, okay, okay I know the basic of the silkscreen process, everything is uh, in my knowledge from the books. 
Okay. But uh, about the uh, indigenous uh, material and uh, system here in Delhi, right, or in India, you can say, I had very uh, vague knowledge. So I had to explore the market. I right. went many times to the Sadar Bajar and other places where the, all the materials are available. And I got uh, support from my one of the, my friend, uh, college student, who took me to a uh, particular shop right. uh, in uh, uh, this uh, uh, old Delhi area. Old Delhi. And uh, uh, he, there he, gave, the, the shopkeeper gave me the whole uh, uh, material of the silk screen, how to prepare, even give a demonstration also. And it gave me encouragement that, okay, now I start the work. So you explored on your own, basically, sir? Yeah, I explored everything on my own. And uh, even the colors and other uh, material to prepare the screens. I experimented a lot because there are many ways to prepare the screen for the uh, printing. Right. So I tried all the possible uh, methods and I decided about my own. Uh, method of a uh, hand cut uh, paper stencil as well as the photo process. Okay, sir. childhood like uh, if you can uh, tell us something about your childhood and the kind of experience you had I was born and brought up at uh, Jamshedpur a steel city okay where my father was working in the uh, Tisco Tata Iron Steel Company Limited okay after a graduation from his uh, metallurgical engineering from BHU okay and uh, we are also uh, part of that Jamshedpur okay and uh, my schooling was done in the school uh, uh, in the co uh, government college not exactly government college but it is a company's college okay and the title Tata's own school Tata's, Tata's schools and colleges okay so after uh, 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 when I was in school right uh, in high school I uh, was just going through uh, uh, either by foot or by cycle Okay. That was my daily that I go, used to go uh, to school. But on the way, there was a very small art center. Right. That art center, uh, some young students, generally I saw them that they are going in and doing some kind of work. I never understood what is that. Okay. And uh, one day my class fellow uh, told me that uh, I go to that school, okay. that art center, and uh, where one drawing teacher teaches drawing right so uh, if you want to see that you can come come along with me and i'll tell you that uh, how it is done okay and i went with him one day and uh, saw that uh, young student from uh, school uh, age they're all learning uh, drawing and painting of different types uh, and uh, uh, it gave me a little curiosity not much that i should also learn but uh, when I went home, I asked my parents, mother and father, that I want to learn drawing. Okay. So there is a school, there is some uh, one teacher teaches me, uh, teaches all the young students, and I want to join it. Okay. So there was no restriction, no stopping, and they said, okay, you go and join. So after schooling, I used to go there twice a week, okay. and uh, on Sundays, three, three days in a week. So I uh, started learning uh, Sir, what, drawing what and painting. Age, what age? Uh, uh, what was the I age? was in class 8. Class 8. I was okay. in class 8 uh, at okay. that time. And uh, uh, it started that I, he gave me some uh, copying for the copy uh, drawings. Of the he asked you to copy some and, works. Uh, to copy okay. it and then uh, gradually started still life and all the objects and all these things. And then okay. uh, gradually uh, I started watercolor also. Okay. Because my teacher was a teacher from uh, Government College of Art, Calcutta. Calcutta. Okay. Yeah. 
So he, he was a academically master. He knew everything very well. I know that, and uh, uh, and by that time I also came to know that the uh, watercolor of, of uh, Calcutta Art College is the best in the country. I think. Still, I feel that it is uh, but very good. You also have done a lot of watercolor, sir. I did a lot of watercolor even in the school time. I started getting appreciation and got some awards in the local competitions right. also. Right. In watercolor and uh, even other paintings also. So that was the beginning of the things. Okay. But uh, uh, it is all the all ambition of the parents that mm -hmm. at that time, when okay. uh, in the 60s, okay. uh, there was a demand of a uh, lot of engineers and uh, other people in the government uh, services and uh, these five year plans of the government of India. So uh, my parents started uh, thinking that I should do engineering, some course okay. of engineering. Okay. Otherwise, just like each and every other Indian yeah, parent. Yeah, because there were still city people didn't <laughs> right. know anything what is happening in the other right. world. Right, right. They think everybody's son is going to engineering there and there, there, there. Somewhere. So you also should follow in the you same footsteps. I have to also follow the same thing either, uh, or you go for uh, uh, either architecture. Okay. Because you are doing drawing, so that you try architecture also. So anyway, uh, I had no ambition of that kind. Ki bhai, I will do this and that. But uh, I appeared in the for the architecture okay. in IIT Kharagpur. IIT Kharagpur. Yes. Okay. So at that time it was a new IIT. It okay. was started I think few years ago and uh, I I applied for that and appeared there also but could not get uh, admission there. Okay. So uh, then I thought that uh, I tell my I told my parents that uh, I should uh, uh, do some um, course in painting. Mm -hmm. So even then they were not uh, eager to do that, but then I went to Punjab also to get admission in uh, some engineering college. Okay. Even there, but could not get anywhere. So you are destined to be an artist. <laughs> yeah. So that was, I think that was blocking the whole uh, exactly. passages of my other right. sources on uh, corner. So on way back from Punjab, when I uh, going uh, Jamshed to Jamshedpur, I stopped at Delhi. Right. And at Delhi, I had some uh, relatives here and some friends. So I met them and then uh, showed my work also that I want to take admission in the uh, art college. Right. So they saw the work and uh, said, okay, then you come to uh, the, uh, Delhi in uh, May, April, May. Okay. So that you can prepare and uh, in the July, you can get admission. June, July is the time. Right. So I came here. And stayed here for uh, right from uh, June, July, and uh, got some coaching from one teacher here. Okay. As per the norms, how the uh, admission test is done. How the test is done. Yeah. Okay. So that was not difficult for me because I knew everything. I my work was very good, and um, okay, very good means in compared to the at that time uh, young uh, people. Right. Study subject was okay. My composition, I did watercolor compositions and uh, okay. landscapes also. So I had no problem in uh, appearing in the test. I got uh, second position in the test also, admission test also. So there was no problem. I got admission, got uh, uh, this five years course I completed. And so that time it, diploma was there or was it degree was? It was national diploma. National diploma, right? The national diploma was given by All India Council for Technical Education. And what exactly was the college at that time? It was not at that time. That was in the Kashmiri Gate. Uh, at that time, the college was in Kashmiri Gate. So, okay. uh, yeah, Kashmiri Gate uh, was a very popular place from all sides. The railway okay. station was in the behind and the Jamuna was on the other side. And how many and students were there in the college at that at time? At that time, it was a very small college. Uh, in each class, there were only 22 students. Were only taken. 22? Only 22 students were taken. Out of that, uh, 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 there, are, there was a, a uh, five years course. Okay. Out of that, the three years were the foundation there at that, that time. Three was, was for foundation? Three years were the foundation course. And that foundation gave me a good uh, chance to make a very strong foundation. And uh, during the these three years foundation, we used to do all the subjects like applied art, Okay. Design, painting, composition, sculpture, clay modeling, everything was done and subjects were there. And after three years, the they made the selection by the college uh, by the college or by the uh, student themselves what do you want to take. 
Okay. Either applied or commercial or it was not like this today that you can't, you did not uh, uh, make a choice from the beginning that you are doing for applied. Or okay. So only after the foundation, they after were... the foundation, they okay. make a selection. They say some people that, okay, you go to sculpture, they are not good in painting or they are not your sculpture is good, then you do good sculpture or some paintings that you do paintings like that. So I took, took applied art, I had no problem. So, and, uh, so uh, yeah. you believe like that education which you got at your time, it was much better or much more refined or, or you were pushed to the edge to excel and now what we are doing in colleges, whether it's in Delhi or in other parts, we lack in some other way. You see, uh, the, the difference are different, uh, the total atmosphere is different at that time, that the need was different. Okay. At that time, I think it was a turning point from the oriental or the realistic work to the abstract side. Right. It was, it was a transition at that time. Because only after independence we are getting after things. Independence, yeah. So uh, it was a transition that uh, now the abstract artists are coming there and uh, some uh, modern paintings which is right. so called modern painting was started there. Right. In, even, even in composition, our composition was that is the, uh, our teachers told that you uh, and, um, uh, take in a modern concept, modern subject, modern treatment and uh, okay. handling of the material and all these things. And uh, uh, there was no problem in that. But study subjects were very thorough. We okay. had a lot of study subjects, outdoor also, landscapes, we had landscape, I, my landscape was, I was very much interested and I used to do a lot of landscape also. Even my own way, uh, that not of the classwork but uh, otherwise also. And that way, I felt that uh, I had very thorough knowledge of everything, uh, uh, the uh, painting side, sculpture side, and uh, the graphics were that uh, Lino cut out that now is done. Okay. And all these uh, things were done, and I had awareness of every subject. Every subject, time. yes. But now it's maybe the modern technology is added to, to certain things which are, I think, uh, students are lacking the practicals right. nowadays, I feel. By right. drawing, by writing by hand, and even drawing by hand, and uh, all these things, and their everything is going digital and on computer. They work. Right. That. At that time, we had no computers and we had to do anything. Right. Only a photographic uh, camera were there, very simple. Yashika Sip three five was very commonly right by the people, the students also. Yes. And uh, that black and white photo was done. So okay. We did we did all the darkroom practices and everything there that. Uh, so we had uh, all the experiences of things which are needed for art right. in practice, whether it is uh, applied art or in painting. painting. So that was the advantage I had. Okay, sir.